So this is chapter 16, and unlike chapter 15, uh, chapter 16 is actually uh, very short, and there really isn't a whole lot of uh, new material here, if any. It's just a, a variation on a theme from chapter 13 when we're doing equilibrium. Um, so it's a, it's a much easier than, than um, chapter 15 buffers. So um, basically in chapter 16 we're looking at solubility. And we memorized all those solubility rules in the appendix. Um, you know, uh, all chlorides are soluble except for lead, silver, mercury, and copper one, right? We know that all those are insoluble. And so go back, memorize that table over again. But although these guys are insoluble, when you put these solids into water, a very, very, very small amount dissolves. So we could say it is something like, um, more like this. A very small amount dissolves, but most of it does not dissolve. So a very, 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 very small amount will dissolve in water. Extremely small. And the numbers you're going to be dealing with are going to be like 10 to the negative 20th, 30th, even 40th. So if you get really, really, really small answers, don't be freaked out by them. So um, when we do equilibrium, we do products over reactants, right? So products over reactants raised to their power, right? Now, remember that we do not include solids or liquids. So the lead chloride doesn't appear in the reaction, okay? Only things that are aqueous. So we give a name to this. Instead of K, we call it KSP for solubility product. K is just the equilibrium constant. It doesn't matter if it's Ka or Kb or Kw or Keq or Ksp. It's the same thing. It's just uh, equilibrium constant. Okay. So how much will this stuff dissolve? What will the molarity be of those two um, ions, the lead and the chloride ions? Well, in order to solve that, um, we uh, need to know the KSP, and we look it up on table 16.1, and the KSP is 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth. Okay? So, the amount of lead that dissolves, lead ions, we'll call X, and the amount of chloride ions will be twice as big, 2x, right? Because we have one of these, and we've got two of those. So the amount of lead that dissolves, um, the amount of chlorine will be twice as much, okay? So then when we plug these variables into our equilibrium equation, we have x times 2x squared. Don't forget the square. 1.6 times 10 to the negative fifth, and then we just solve for x. These problems are much easier to solve. and I get 0 0.0165 molar.
okay? Um, so that is the concentration of the lead ions. So then what would the concentration of the chloride ions be? They would be twice as much. Okay? So this is a way you can calculate concentrations of um, substances that don't dissolve in water. Okay? Lead chloride does not dissolve in water. Only a very, very, very small amount does. Okay? So that's basically um, half the problems in Chapter 16. The other half of the problems um, deal with common ion effect. Okay? So 